Bastard. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another <clears throat> Fnega Cube. Cube. See, I like Venser a lot, and I think it's pretty sweet, but also it means there's no Muldrifter in here. Get that a little more. What's this? I even like in this cube. I've also only done two, but I did enjoy both of them. I'm going to take the Venser because it's Planeswalker. It's pretty sweet. It has a lot of build around potential. And Cloud Blazer is basically Muldrifter. Um, you just play most two cards and you put the creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield. We're just going to take the Cloud Blazer here. I think it's like the most perfect pickup here after. And I kind of hope Zatalpa or Hyromancer's Cage comes back. This is hilarious because I was literally just being like, well, I can't get a Muldrifter because Muldrifter's in a, you know, a different cube. But then we get Cloud Blazer and it's basically just Muldrifter. So that's cool. Oh, Angel of Despair. Oh, I want to be blinking Angel of Despairs. <clears throat> They're like, okay, we, you can't have Ashen Rider? All right, we'll give you Angel of Despair. Ma, can we get Ashen Rider? We have Ashen Rider at home. Ashen Rider at home. <laughs> oh, man. I'm funny. I'm a funny guy. You guys are lucky that I stream for you guys. It's just such a treat for you. I I understand. So now we're looking for like Esper things or lands. Behold, the multiverse is fantastic. So Thank is Reflector you. Mage. I think Reflector Mage has a higher chance of coming back. I'm going to take the Behold. J Chart, what up, my dude? <laughs> the conductor of the Send rat train. Down to rat train. Have you ever been outside and got to call on the rat train? <laughs> <laughs> it's still funny. Still funny after all this time. I think we're just taking Valorous Stance. That's a solid spell. What do we have here? Cast down is just good. Counter target creature spell. This is just essence scatter. You can't fool me. I'm not sure if we're going to be a deck that's holding up mana. I think I'd rather just have cast down. But then again, I also want to minimize the number of black cards. So I'm going to take false summoning. Based on the fact that I think we're blue white. Splashing the black for angel. I know that sounds funny, but you know. Ooh, ooh. High Cliff Felidar, also pretty good with Venser. We get to blink it and kill another creature. Is it like 65 in Denver? No, it's actually 73. So better or worse, I'm not sure. This is a Deter Lizzy art. Yeah, you can definitely tell Deter Lizzy's art. Deter Lizzy. I don't know how to pop out the the big card, otherwise I'd I'd big card it for you. But he has a very, very distinct art style. 
Shut up and take my money. Oh, okay. The Undead Ninja. Hey, usually watch on YouTube. Dude, thank you so much for the donation. Really appreciate it, my dude. This will be going up on YouTube, so you can find it there as well. If you're watching right now, you could very well be watching it on YouTube. Isn't that wild? Um, Banishing? Banisher Priest? Uh, actually, Alaros seems better. Banisher Priest isn't great to blink because they, they get their creature back and then they get a different creature. and It's fine to, like, for selection purposes, like, oh, cool, I get to choose a different one. But, like, this blinking this guy actually is great because you just keep getting three, two reflections. Which I assume are not legendary. That'd be weird. This will be a reminder that I already saw it. <laughs> oh, you're like 10 minutes in and you're like, oh, I did. I watched this one already. Actually, only five minutes in, so it's even better. Let's take Curator of Mysteries. This is just a fine creature. Oh, now we get another blue black land. Hyromancer's Cage is nice. Ugh. It's literally just like a four mana oblivion ring, right? <coughs> I'm gonna go with the land here. I feel like it's better. Frost Lynx, you're not exciting, Thank but I'll you. take you, I guess. Reflector Mage did come back. Oh, that's great. Oh, the Undead Ninja with the sub. Always forgot my pro I, It's okay. I forgive you. I appreciate the support. Also, if you guys uh, haven't done so, definitely join the subscriber Discord. Michael B plays a ton of Commander in there off of like Spell Table with like webcam. And like. You guys could join him. Remember, you cast a creature with Grimmax 3. Yeah, sure. I mean, that's just still a 2-3 flyer for 3 that, like, investigates off of this guy, this guy, and that's it so far. I guess this guy, too. Frosty. Frostarino. Yeah, just keep my stream playing overnight. That'd be great. When you guys go to bed, just keep my YouTube channel up. Just playing it. Just playing on on repeat. For those sweet dollar dollar bills. <clears throat> oh, I love a clever impersonator. I like a Temple of Deceit as well. Huh. Interesting. This deck looks sweet so far. I feel like I'd take Clever Impersonator and try to wield the temple. I think that's probably not unreasonable. Clever Impersonator seems powerful. Sometimes I bother people there to make them play Among Us. Yeah, Superfits also plays a ton of Among Us in the Discord chat. So if you guys are subscribed, definitely go over there and connect your accounts and get the get the subs subscri subscriber Discord. Oh, dude, Watson's going to go crazy now. <coughs> in fact, you guys might not be able to hear that because I'm using NVIDIA Broadcast, which has a significantly powerful... Uh, noise reduction feature, so. Oh, I love a wingmate rock. That card is powerful. You can attack and then blink it and then attack again. No, not attack again. Make another bird is what I meant to say. <laughs> I just made up a thing. Yeah, I think Wingmate Rex is probably strong here. I'll take the wing. Oh, actually, Watcher seems great. Let's take the Watcher. So I want more uh, cheap things to do. I don't want to have like a bunch of five mana things. I love Maelstrom Wander. It's my most favorite card ever. I'm going to take Mystic Gate here, I think. Tidings and Reign of Revelation are fantastic. Shut up and take my D-Spark also very, very good. Shua Garner, just because you're playing white? Oh, man, Shua Garner, I love you, buddy. I appreciate your support, even though you're, you're pretty ridiculous sometimes. Thank you, dude. Really, really appreciate it. It means a ton. Is it Mystic Gate? I think it's Mystic Gate. I want to have good mana. And see, now we get an underground river, and that's pretty cool. Dance of the Mance. Return up to X artifacts or non-aura enchantment cards. Each with current mana. X plus for to the battle. Is there a theme for this? Because I haven't seen many, like, cards that support that. I kind of like Syncopate. I kind of like Master Splicer, Blink Ability. 
I think I'm going to go with the Master Splicer. Again, like, I feel like we want to tap out with this deck. <clears throat> Josh, thank you so much, man. Undead Ninja, really appreciate you guys. You're both the heroes we need. Bring me home. I'm at two on with a blue green splashing white blink deck earlier. What's a deke? I got my blue green deke. <clears throat> I understand. I mean, ideally, we'll be able to follow suit. Oh, out of car wastes. What does Heavenly Blade Master do? Three, six for six. Flying double strike. When it enters the battlefield, you may attach any number of auras. And okay, you lost me there. <laughs> I'm just like, nope. All right. Any number of auras and equipment to it. Other creatures you control get plus one for each aura and equipment. That's actually, I mean, it's, it's great in the archetype, but we are not that. Instead, I'm going to take a land. That Scour Glass. Sacrifice this, destroys all permanents except for artifacts and lands. That, again, not great for us. Mist Raven, however, is pretty good for us. So is Prison Term. We're going to take the Mist Raven. Just tell Frank to hum all the time. Wait, what's happening right now? Um, that's what it is. It has been making the time you aren't talking actually silent recently, which, while good in theory, has made it a bear to listen to my car because they were... Oh, interesting. Interesting. I've done it because, like, this mic... Okay, A, there was the echoing issue with Mike. So, like, when Mike's on stream, I'm trying to, to negate that echoing issue where, like, I can talk, it won't pick up any background noise, which it, it might see that as. A, they're adept. <clears throat> That's pretty good. Yeah, we're going to take that over Hanged Executioner, I think. Actually, maybe not. This just exiles creatures. And we already have Reflector Mage. Yeah, let's take the Hanged Executioner. So, also, like... I noticed with these mics, you can hear a lot more in the background. So like when the dogs are barking or whatever, like you can hear that pretty well. And um, I wanted to kind of avoid that. And I, you know, I've watched numerous videos because like whenever I'm looking to improve something or research something or like not, not research something, I guess that's uh, <clears throat> um, whenever, whenever I'm looking to improve something or upgrade something on the stream, I always do a ton of research and uh, watch a bunch of videos and make sure like it's a good choice or like it's going to actually make a difference. And so I watched a ton of NVIDIA broadcast videos. And if you guys don't know what that is, go go look up NVIDIA broadcast, no, like noise reduction. And it's actually extremely impressive. Looks like the temple did not come back, but that's fine because we picked up like Underground River and Attacar Wastes and some other decent lands. And um, the noise reduction was just actually unbelievably good. So I figured the benefit of that is actually significantly higher than any kind of downside. Yeah, we'll just take Tidings. Actually, I'm really glad Tidings came back. I wish it was an instant. <clears throat> it's totally my own issue I need to fix, but if it actually sounds coming from... If, there's ac if it's actually silence coming from the Bluetooth, the Bluetooth aux thing I use has this awful noise. Also kills the drop in one of my favorite techno songs. <laughs> kills that drop. Um, This guy's actually just fine. Like, this is a two-mana... Basically... Oh, I wanted that anyway. This look, This deck's looking very good. Eradicator Valkyrie is actually pretty sweet. Double black might be rough. I mean, we have double black here, but it's also seven mana instead of four. So our odds of having double black on turn seven rather than turn four is much higher. Geist Honored Monk, not bad. Makes two 1-1 one, one flyers. We could also blink it. I do want some more two drops, but none of these are actual good. Warkite Marauder is fine, but I think I just want the Geist Honored Monk. I also don't think it's a Sinister Sabotage tech, but I just like having Sinister Sabotage because it's a nice, like, catch-all. I do think it's a Sphere of the Suns deck. I mean, we could also play Perilous Mirror, and then whenever we exile it, nothing happens. 
Thriving Isle is nice. If Thriving Isle comes back, I'll be grateful. But I'm going to take this because we have a bunch of expensive stuff. So. I mean, if we're not a Sinister Sabotage deck, we're also probably not a False Summoning deck. Oh, look, there's a Baron, which is, it's kind of like a better, uh, it's definitely a better either, either Adept, right? The God doesn't do anything, right? Like, <clears throat> creatures you control that are enchanted or equipped have double strike. Okay, that's going to be none of them. At the beginning of each combat, you may attach an aura or equipment attached to a creature you control to target creature. Ed does nothing either. The backside's fine as a sword, like whenever it dies, returns to a hand, like, but, like, I think I'd rather just have, like, a Baron or bounce card. The equipment is fine. Like, I definitely agree with you there. I don't know if it's better than, like, taking Baron, which is, like, our second bounce effect. Also, it makes, like, Bygone Bishop actually is getting better and better. Um, It's either Caves of Koilos or Hengegate Pathway. I don't know if I want three Pain Lands. I think I'd rather have this guy, because now we have, now we have all three of our, <laughs> our Flip Lands. <clears throat> Huh. Well, I think we want Thopter Rest here because we don't actually have many effects like this. We passed the Hyromancer's Hierophant, Hyromancer, what? I don't, I forgot the name of that card. Um, we could also take Tome Raider, which is nice to blink. Scholar is also pretty sweet to blink. I don't know if I want another seven drop though. I'm going to take Thopter Rest. <clears throat> um, Deering Saboteur is fine. Draw and discard? Yeah, sure. I mean, it's a two-drop. I don't think it's Phyrexian Rebirth. I don't think it's Karuga. We could blink Karuba. Kar Karuba? Hierophantomancer is correct. Yeah. Don't you want a Hierophantomancer? Man man I can't even say it now. Yeah, we'll just take Nearing Step Tour here. Do you have a good site to look at movement in the comic book? Um, I mean, there's a couple of different options you can go to. One is called gocollect.com. They usually have pretty current stuff. Um, there's also GPA.com. I think it's GPA.com. Let me check. It's GPA analysis. <clears throat> but they do have an annual fee. I mean, it's actually a monthly fee. You, just, you can also pay it annually. But they usually track... I mean, they track all of the sales of all comics that go through like eBay or... Um, What's it called? <clears throat> like heritage auctions, things like that. <clears throat> I mean, also another another source to just use is literally eBay sold listings. Wow, Exclusion Mage and Soul Herder? Oh, we're definitely Soul Herdering. Wow. This is a Soul Herder deck if I ever saw one. That's just Venser 2.0, man. Don't you want to want a Fanta? Um, prediction. This guy's actually just good. Like a bad series of is just good. He's always been impressive to me. I've always been like, wow, this is a good card. So that when it this just it just makes a it just makes a clue. That's pretty good. Thank you. Not sure, <laughs> Dennis. What's going on, buddy? Always good seeing you. I like that I have so many, like, it's so funny that a lot of my, <clears throat> a lot of my most active and, and vocal viewers are both supporters from Utah, where I lived for a little bit, and uh, from Seattle, which where I lived for a little bit. Um, 
Yeah, I'm just gonna take temporal isolation. It's a removal spell. Look, we get the Halvar back anyway. I mean, it's still a 4-4 four, for four, 4. It's definitely not the worst. Like, I'm tempted to just cut Angel and not play black. I mean, it's our only black card. It's good, but I think we can do without it. Oh, Tome Raider came back. That's kind of cool. Like, this is our only black card, right? Like, why bother? Why mess up our mana for that? It's good. And then we still get Mystic Gate, Henge Gate, Add a Car Wastes. So we still have three good lands for our two-color deck. Those are nerd hotspots. Seattle is definitely a nerd hotspot for sure. Utah was more of a nerd hotspot than I expected. <clears throat> okay, so we still need two cuts, but that's not that bad. Bishop stays because I think it's going to draw us a good amount of cards. I think we can take out False Summoning. And probably like an expensive card. It might just be Curator. It's not super exciting. It doesn't really have any synergy with our deck. Thanks. And then Waker is still something we can do on turn two or just play as a seven drop if we really need it. Is this the two color? Yeah, that's the one we want. Add a card. Juposhi, what up, my dude? Happy three year anniversary. This deck looks sweet. Colors are pretty even. We could just go, we could just go seven, seven. Which is actually like, nah, 10-10. ten. ten. Alright, let's see if this deck does anything at all. <coughs> Don't you wanna want Fanta? Now I have Fanta stuck in my head because of Super Fritz's throwaway comment yeah we do have pretty decent fixing for it sphere of the suns underground clear water pathway bright climb pathway plus we can put like two swamps in it it's not gonna hurt anything oh yes let's get it on sugar oh this is a this is a hand sugar garner i'm gonna i'm gonna literally ban you can someone time Shua Carter out for like one minute? <laughs> oh, God. oh, God. Both of you are terrible. A2 Super Fritz. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, these are all good. Dang. I don't want Soul Herder or Bygone Bishop on the bottom. But by the time we get to play this, it's probably going to be too late. I think it's got to be Soul Herder. We have definitely uh, other things for Mist Raven, but Soul Herder like, interacts favorably with all the cards in our hand, except for this guy. Don't, don't try to blink. Don't try to blink Sigrid and expect good results, because that's just going to... It's not, it's not going to be good. <clears throat> Uh, it is a new haircut. I got a haircut yesterday because I just couldn't take it anymore. Get in there, you little turkey. This just puts more power. They both put three. No, this puts two power on the board, I guess. This puts three power on the board. Oh, no, they're going to wipe the board. Interesting. <clears throat> Can I believe you've done this? I mean, yeah, I guess we're just going to attack for a billion and pass. And by a billion, I mean you know, five. Uh, interesting. One, two, three, four. <laughs> but you have a Nevin Rolls discount. Sonic Blast. Sure. 
sure. Yeah, I mean, this is a weird choice. Like, all right. I guess, I mean, like, you either have no plans to blow up the disc at any point or you didn't care, which is also weird. <clears throat> Let's get it on. Sugar. Oh, we can also Valorous stance something here. Interesting. Four cards in hand, huh? I think that's fine. One of those was a token. One of them we drew a card from. One of them they wasted another card on. So they basically lost one, two, three. For, and we lost Hanged Executioner, Alarios, and Watcher. But then we drew a card off of Watcher. So it was actually a two for three. Which is fine. Oh, I need that double blue. Oh, I'm going to draw three in response. Okie dokie. Sugar. Let's get it on. Sugar. All right, let me, let me resolve this. Okay, that's fine. You can easily discard a planes here. Could have discarded Spear of the Suns too, but... I mean, I hope they just play two creatures. Then we could just go like Baron, Soul Herder, Blink Baron. Okay. I don't even want to blink this guy now. That's a bummer. Oh, Mystic Gate. Okay. Actually, maybe I don't play Soul Herder here. I might just play Sphere into, like, Behold. I kind of like that, actually. Because blinking it doesn't really do anything here. We're not going to be able to bounce it. We can actually bounce our own Sphere of the Suns next turn to draw a card. So... Okie dokie. Toughness four or greater four three. Sounds good. I like that. And then they can't replay it. Is it spell or ability or just spell? Spells your opponent's cast. So none of these are relevant. We can keep a Valorous stance against the Psionic Blast. One, two, three, one, two. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So we're going to go one, two, three. Oh, and we can actually blink our own Sphere of the Suns, which is kind of cute. I like that a lot, actually. One, two, three. Soul Herder. Blink that Baron. Yes. What does it say? Uh, at the beginning of your end step. Oh, no. We're already at the end step. Dang. That's unfortunate. Um, just want our target creature. Okay. No blinks. 
Well, we still get to keep a Valor Stance and Behold. We know they have Regent, Manser, Nuts, and whatever they got. What did they get back? They got back uh, Rain. Chocolate Rain. Substate Dry. What does this mean? Chocolate. Could have actually bounced Reflector Mage to protect against like any sort of any sort of nonsense. They can't replay Regent. Four damage to any target, huh? Oh, they're going to do something else. Okie dokie. You got it. I mean, they're still at nine and they take four here. And we have Behold. Oh, Cloud Blazer and Lieutenant? Oh, geez. Um, put on top, put on top. <laughs> that's... That's a bingo. So we're, we have Lethal on board. We know they have Regent, Manser, and Rain still. It's three of the six cards. <clears throat> There's Regent again. Old Reginald. We could just clever impersonator and copy this. Which I kind of like. We just kill them, right? Like, I mean, if they don't have an answer. We still get to keep up Sigrid. Uh, put a counter on. Okay, we just win. <laughs> That's... Oh man, our deck is sweet. We have a lot of good value cards too, which is nice because it seems like they're trying to kill our guys. Oh, what up, Destined to Win now? <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay. Let yeah, I'll keep this hand. The circus of value. That's a solid reference. Oh, they just didn't play a land. Okay. Well, that is a strategy. Did they mold a five? No, they mold a six. Okay. Well, I guess we got to play first as well. Foretold card. Hmm, you don't say. Well, I was hoping for a three drop here, but... I mean, our, our once we hit next turn, it's we got Master Splicer, Wing Splicer, Cloud Blazer, which is pretty decent. Oh, they're foretelling lots of things. Get him. Let's play you. I don't really want to double into Link Splicers. They have significant amounts of black and red mana here, which are Sweeper City. Also, one interesting thing we can do is if they ever try to kill Master Splicer during combat, we could Sigrid it. And then if they, 
Yeah, that's fine, I guess. Cloud Blazer. Anyway, the goal is to Sigrid this during combat, and then when they kill the Sigrid, if they wipe the board somehow, we get another 4-4 four, four, and 1-1. One, one, which is pretty cool. Poison the cup. Man. Chicken tenders. Oh, a primordial mist, eh? Okay. I feel ya. Buddy, I feel ya. This card's actually pretty good. It basically draws you a card every turn that sits there as a 2-2, two, two, you know? You know what I'm saying? All right. Oh, that guy makes things big. So we'll play this. We'll play one, two. Oh, we need a blue. Watcher. Um. Oh, I like a Mist Raven here. Bygone Bishop also triggers with everything, right? Cast, cast. I don't really want to bounce these. Yeah, we'll just take the Bishop here. One, two, three, four, we have five mana. Let's hit those Royal Scions. What's for dinner? Um, I think we're getting Mediterranean. I think Michael just had a stroke. Are they just going to let it die? What? Oh, uh, that was weird. <laughs> all right. I wasn't expecting that, I guess, but all right. Meteor Golem. That is Meteor. Meteor than I expected, that's for sure. I have no instance, right? That's unfortunate. I mean, I think these two spirits are just going to win us this game, right? In like 15 turns, right? One, two, three, four. Let's play Wingy Boy. Put that away. All right. <clears throat> Just look at the... What are you saying right now? Thurman's. Oh, Nicol Bolas. Well, that is a thing <laughs> that this does not deal with. Yep, that's pretty good. Exiles cards since Hard Labyrinth say Exile a non land card. You got it. Oh, God. <laughs> yep, that's, that's pretty good. Well, this game I feel significantly worse about. Wait, what happened with the Flame Lash? They revealed a creature. Oh, they this was the creature they sacrificed. Got it. Okay. Weird, but... Oh, I like Venser here. Hmm, interesting. Let's put Hanged on the bottom and Venser on the top. 
And island is not what we're looking for there. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Unfortunately, we can't kill Mickey B here. And that's another land. Okie dokie. Well, that's something. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. We don't have nearly enough mana to do anything here. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana, so this is five, and we can play one of these three things. Hmm. Five cards in hand. Uh, I definitely don't want to get rid of this golem because then if they kill Sigrid, they get the effect back. Like, then they just kill... They can just literally kill this with Nicobolus next turn and then get their golem back and kill something else. Like, I mean, this is... I'd rather just stop to arrest that guy. Again, if they kill this, though, it comes back. But I think they have far fewer ways to deal with an enchantment than they do a 2-2. <laughs> So I'm tempted to go Thopter arrest this guy. And then they just have it 2-2 two, two and they can block one of the two stupid idiots. And then we can blink whatever they don't block. I think this is probably the best possible option we have. Man, them hitting Tidings off of the top was pretty bad. They couldn't hit, like, Reflector Mage or something. That would have been cooler. No idea how we're going to win this. Uh, if we use Sigrid on one of, on this, yes, because it's our clever impersonator. Sure. I mean, they're, they're doing a good job on gumming up the ground here. They also have four cards. Like we have, we have one fewer cards in our deck, which means we've actually drawn more cards. Unfortunately, a deck like this is far more geared towards creature decks than it is the control decks. This seems like a pretty easy spark harvest. Kill Venser, sack something like Master Splicer, probably. Oh, look, I predicted it exactly. It also exiles a permanent we own, so if they don't kill Master Splicer, then we just get to exile it, which is pretty cool. Oh, they didn't. They killed the Archaeomancer. That's actually pretty sweet, because now we get to actually gain, can blink this out, and then when it comes back, we get to Nicol Bolas. Does Nicol Bolas kill some of this target creature? To target opponent creature and opponent controls are playing. Damn it. That's annoying. <laughs> wait does it at the beginning of the next end step yeah that's really frustrating because that means we can't actually yeah that's annoying <sighs> I mean it's still the play 
And we get to put Nicol Bolas to, to four, which means if they want to save it, they actually have to do that. There's a uh, Nicol Bolas, Nicol Bolas. There's no point in attacking. They just block with like skin render here. Sure, Garner, you know this is attacking or blocking creature, right? We can't just actually just play it for nothing. We have to act they have to actually either be attacking or blocking. That probably explains like why you wanted to get rid of the meteor golem earlier and just attack through, but you, you can't do it until they actually assign blockers or attackers. Um I'm pretty sure it's Nicol Bolas here. We could have also taken Primordial Mist. But it's at the beginning of your end step, so this wouldn't have even triggered this turn. But now if they want a negative seven to kill Bolas. Then they uh, have to kill their own bolus, and then we're just in a bolus free world. Okay. Sure. They have 11 cards. <laughs> Can we deck them? Probably not. Shut up and take my money. Mono black stiff sometime? Yeah, I, I don't know if this cube supports it, but we can definitely try. Dude, Neon Tokyo Rain, I appreciate you, buddy. I'm going to write it down. It's going in the it's going in the book. I don't know what they're what the holdup is here. I guess they're just deciding what they what to do. They have like oh, four Oh, they only have four cards in hand. Where do their cards go? Hold on. Under the sea. Um, neon. All right, a talisman. I recently we were out to we watched Gremlins too. Holds up. Oh, Icefall region, huh? Yeah. Okay. Okie dokie. It's when it leaves the battlefield, right? When it leaves the that's, that's actually great. And they're tapped out right now. This is actually very good for us. Uh, exile this guy. Wow, this board state is going to be bananas for us. I have no idea how this happened. Wow. <laughs> yep, they just traded Nicol Bolas for Nicol Bolas and their board is Icefall Regent. I feel like we're in better shape now, for sure. Basri's Lieutenant, huh? One, two, three, four, we can deal six damage. This card is slightly problematic. I kind of like Blinking Watcher. Draw the Bygone Bishop, see what happens. Is 
It also lets it untap again, which is pretty good. Or we can just start making big teams here and uh All right, we're definitely exiling something. Why is this like, why is this highlighted? This is dark, can't exile it. I can't exile this, right? It's, I don't own this, why does this? That's weird that it's like highlight. like this guy's not highlighted because it's pro multicolor. Oh, now it's not highlighted. Oh, now it is highlighted. <laughs> what? Highlight this, it goes off. Highlight it, it goes... I don't understand. Um, I think I just want to blink Watcher here. Drawing the card seems good. Uh, again, if we blink Thopter Arrest, Meteor Golem comes back and they just get to kill our Venser. So... <laughs> that's, uh, which I think is worse. We can go play this guy. Oh, Baron? Um, yeah, let's take a Baron. Yeah, but they'll never see it coming. You know, they might not. That might be true. Yeah, Tokyo Rain. Thank you for the support, buddy. Really appreciate it. My local drive. My local drive into double feature with Gremlins and the Goonies. That was oh, that sounds great, actually. Uh sure. I wonder if they knew that that wasn't going to trigger when they flipped it up because paying five mana to turn your 2-2 two -two into a 3-3 three -three is not the best. Oh, you thought this was like Baffling End. No, Thopter Arrest was from Kaladesh or either Revolt more specifically. Wow, how did we win this? <laughs> Sorry for good games. Sorry for playing badly. Oh, man. No worries. Magic's hard, man. It happens. All right. Um, wow. I did not think we were going to win that game. That's wild. Hmm. I actually don't hate this. We'll keep it. Oh, Frank, have you seen the spoiled pest legend? It's my new... Is the one that gives other pests like plus one, plus one? Oh, they mulligan to five? That is certainly a half smile. Oh, I like a bygone bishop. Into a hanged executioner. After this match, I'm going to go refill my drink. And you guys are going to deal with it. Okay. Let's let bygone bishops be bygone bishops, huh? Under the sea. Yeah. Blex vexing pest. Blex vexing pest. Blex vexing pex. Blex vex vex pex. Blex vexing pex. I nailed it.
Huh. If I had one more land, we could Thopter Arrest. I guess we can Thopter Arrest keep up Waker of Waves. Like, I don't hate that. I kind of want to keep creatures in hand for when, uh, for when we actually get some creatures out of this guy. Am I right? Down by the sea. It did kind of turn to a black pigs, pigs, pigs at the end there. <laughs> like you do. Oh, Pondering Mage is just juice. That card is, I was just going to say juice again, so. We also have six mana, so maybe we just keep this in hand and play it as a big fat 7-7? Seven, seven? That feels fine. Play it as a man! Yeah, we only need one more land, so really, what's the problem? Well, the problem is... We can also Sigrid this Pondering Mage. Or crack the clue. Right, you know, we have the sky's the limit, really. Okay. I got this coffee mate stuff, and it says 35 calories per shot. I'm like, cool. It turns out it's 65 servings per bottle, and I'm putting like a tenth of the bottle in each cup. See, that's a lot. See, that's a good amount. And I feel like it's more than than you should be putting in the bottle. I'm no expert. Like, I, I, the one thing I hate about Sigrid is that they get the creature back, right? Like, that's a really bad downside. So I don't want to take creatures with Ender's Battlefield abilities, but our deck really has a hard time against the random 3-4. Plus, we get to make another clue, so it's like, really, oh, wow. Well, that is a thing, isn't it? Yeah, we're just going to play the Venser. Oh, right. Everybody get in there. I do the same, but with whiskey. <laughs> oh, Jesus. He's living his best retired life. That's only half of a Hot Pockets worth of calories per cup of coffee. That's nothing. Got the healthy crowd in here today. Panharmonicon. See, now we're talking. You got a Sky Scanner and a Pondering Mage that we've seen so far. Okay, that guy's a little bit, uh, I'll say, frightening. However, this is real good against them. Maybe not against them per se. Hey, they have one card in hand? Okay, I actually feel good about this. I mean, unless they have Wrath of God. And then in that case, we still have a Venser and a Waker of Waves and a Tidings. So I'm not really super concerned. All right. And I have a good reason not to be concerned because we crushed it, as they say. Um, I wish I had an answer for an artifact other than like Sinister Sabotage. You got, you got Angel of Despair. Well, I guess that's true. I guess we have Angel of Despair. I guess we also have Thopter Arrest, so you know what? I'm going to quit complaining. Uh, snap it off. Got three drop, got a four drop, got a foretell drop. 
I come here for the gourmet gourmands and the sauna builders. <laughs> you and me both, buddy. You and me both. It's a real, it's a gourmand sauna builder world. They went to six again? Jeez. What is happening? Man, the number of builders in, in my chat that I've I've discovered over the past few months has surprised me. Oh, you got it. Scan those skies. I also have one one flyers. You know what I call saunas? Big hot pockets. <laughs> Oh, God. <sighs> There's a certain sadness to him. Really? Wow, that is just wild. Exile hanged. Ex yeah, sure, I'm not going to get rid of a onboard removal. That's really, that's a, that's a use of a thing, I guess. I also, oh my God, now he's showing off the, the Bon Quan. Is that what it's called? Quan? Bon, bon Quan? Oh, see, that's a good card. I am going to have to take a turn off of my adventures and get rid of it forever, I would say. And simply hope that that does it. Next turn having four mana, six mana is great because we can wing splicer and either, yeah, we're probably just gonna, like I'm just gonna keep this guy in hand for as long as we can. Like there's no reason to play it if you don't have anything else to do. But if you don't have anything else to do, it's just a, it's just a great versatile card. Waker of Waves, I think, is super underwhelming or under under uh, underappreciated. Yeah, I'll take three here. Bon Coon, I would have never gotten that. Okay, sure, you got it. <laughs> but but that guy. I do worry they might have a counter spell here. So I'm going to use my mana more beneficially. Okay, they didn't even do anything there. And next turn we can Venser, blink one of these, doesn't really matter which. I'm going to level with you, it also looks a little sluggy. What does that mean? Oh, the... <laughs> No, it definitely does look a little sluggy, but I think that's just the nature of the beast. So the Bon Coon that uh, that Thanos is referring to, for those on YouTube who cannot see, looks like this. And admittedly, yeah, it does look a little sluggy, but I also think that, you know, that's just the way it is. Here's a barn door I'm almost done with. Brett, are you holding out? Oh, this looks fantastic. Brett, are you holding out on me? With the sweet... The sweet, sweet woodworking porn? Here's Brett's barn door for you guys. Dang it, really? You're going to be like this? Let's go to view. Let's see if this is... Okay, save it over here. Yeah, copy and replace. Okay, cool. I love it when it does this. I don't know why. I don't know why you are the way you are, Windows, but, you know. Um, I don't want either of these. Man, scrying before drawing is so good. <sighs> Maybe. <laughs> All right, then. Um, let's 
go this guy. I guess we'll attack with both, right? What could go wrong? Scry 2. Well, that is no Tome Raider, that's for sure. Out on the boardwalk. That's not what we're looking for here. You got it. So we're going to play a land. One, two, three, four, five. No, we're going to keep up the Mystic Gate. This leaves us with double blue and double white, which is really what you want here. I think two one one flyers here is better than one more golem. I'm not sure if that's true, but it gives us a wider board presence. And right now we have lethal on board with Venser, so. I see. Well. Okay, okay. Choose from an artifact, a creature, and enchantment of Planeswalker. This guy, this guy, probably Geist Honored Monk. Done. I mean, I don't really have a problem getting rid of this. Okay. Well, one, two, three, four, five. Cloudy B. Daring Saboteur. So now this is a 5-5. Five, 5, five six, seven, eight, nine, 10. We can attack for 10 here. I think it's actually just better to blink the cloud blader to be quite honest two cards is pretty good oh yeah that's a ticket <laughs> i swear i didn't come back here to just i didn't come here just to talk about hot pockets it's just that i only know anything about hot pockets well i mean that's a common problem we are 4-0 currently all right, let's see if we can 3 out this bad boy. Be with that I'll kick down. I actually feel motivated to work. Nice. Tanos, have a good afternoon, buddy. Now we just wait.
And now we pause. Let's do it. Yes. Turn two, turn. Yeah, this is good. We got we got Wigger waves. You too. You know what to do. That's not how that song goes at all. Now we got three drop. Man. Well, maybe a third land to play our three drop is really what I meant. I just said it real weird. Interesting. Hmm. Could Thopter arrest this guy. I think it's kind of obnoxious. Like we have this coming into play tapped. A lot of our creatures are not wanting to come into play tapped. Okay. Uh got real planes here. Sure. Seems fine. Well, so long, daring saboteur. I mean, next time we get tidings, and that's pretty good. I like a good tidings. Thopter arrest, sending him to bird jail. <laughs> is, that, is that what's happening? God, bird jail is a hell of a place, man. Well, we got four mana. We're going to get in there and see what happens. Yeah, we wanted them to play something here. That's a twofer. That is a twoferino. It's not great, Bob. Not great, Bob. They have five cards. We have two. They have four cards. We have two. But we have a Tidings. That seems fine. They can activate that now, actually. That's interesting. Oh, we get to keep our Golem? I mean, that's actually just fine. <laughs> Get him. Yeah, that's pretty good. We're not going to play any of these things until next turn. Or until uh, they bless the scour glass, at least. Artifacts and lands. Oh, you can only activate it during your upkeep. That's also interesting. Okay, whenever blocks or becomes blocked. I guess well, let's see the card excel. Yeah, okay, we're just not gonna. Hmm. Fascinating. Well, I do have a Valorous stance. Really, I don't want to just. I just don't want to play anything here, like because then they have a great incentive to scour glass. They would get. We would get to keep our three three golem and a daring saboteur. They would get their impostor imposter sovereign back. Imposing sovereign. I don't know why I called it imposter sovereign. In See, that's interesting.
I mean, being able to make this guy unblockable is pretty banging. That guy's good. I kind of want to just cycle Waker of Waves, but then again, we don't really need to. Hmm. So we make this guy unblockable. We can easily discard that. One, two, three, and then we have five, which is actually good enough for most things. <laughs> Imposter Sovereign, the Spaghetti King. <laughs> oh, man. Super Fritz, you're a funny guy. They're at six, huh? I accept. Wow, they got the Nevernal's disc and the Scour, Scour Sun, Scour Glass, Hour of Scour, Scour Power. Man, that's wild. Hmm. So here's the thing. We can Mist Raven this guy. They will get to keep it when they blow up the world. They block here. They take three, four, five, six, seven. They would die if they have nothing else going on. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. We can also just keep. I mean, if they don't have a three mana removal spell, like. They might. They might not. But I think it's worth trying for. Because even if they kill this, block this, they still go to three. And we still have end of turn behold. So, fingers crossed. All right, they go to three. So they lose one, two, three cards. And we lose one, two, three cards, essentially. Mm -hmm. That's actually pretty good, because you can actually play that and still play around the Nevenril's disc. That's actually really good. Okay, so they're going to blow the disc. We can just play this into this, which is actually pretty good. Uh, go to your face. Go to Soren, 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 Soren. Doesn't really matter. Didn't even attack with that guy. Oh, no. One, two, three. I'm going to play this here because I want to have more mana next turn. We might not need to sack this, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can actually play this and sack this or play this, play Venser or something like that. I assume they're killing the Baron going up to six. Sure. Hmm. I 
Yep, had a feeling. And Soren's kind of a bitch. <sighs> sure. So we know I have Demon in hand. There he is. There's your boy. That's actually pretty cool. Make a clue. That's just what you do. Can't even attack here, unfortunately. Wow, that's interesting that they didn't uh they didn't move it over. Cuz we are definitely blinking this guy. <laughs> you may attach prison term to that creature. No, that doesn't work. But now this is also Oh, this is only a 1-1. One, one. Now it goes to a 2-2. Two, two. Oh no. I thought it was a 2-2 two, two and it went to a 3-3 three, three for some reason. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, don't care about that. Okay, that's actually really good. Okay, <laughs> that's, wow, and we get two more clues. Oh boy, uh, one, two, three. Well, let's pay a white, I guess. Well, I guess we're gonna actually might as well use the Mystic Gate for infinite white, right? Let me get that Venser. Um, Cloud Blazer actually seems fine. And then we want... Bottom, bottom, bottom. Might as well play this because then we can crack a clue. So. And if we attack... Yeah, we're just going to have to attack all at Soren here. I think Soren goes to like one. No, two. I feel like we're in good shape here. But we just can't risk them like stealing our turn. <laughs> Not that they could do that much, but still. Oh, we just win the game. Man, our deck has been performing well. I feel like Sinister Sabotage again is a card that like I just kind of want. Like, there's just so many bombs, like Soren or, like, Nevenril's Disc. Like, there's a lot of cards that, like, are very good against us. Have not needed the Angel of Despair. Sigrid seems not as good because they have multiple ways to wipe the board, so they're just going to get something back for free. You ever buy a cream puff, suck out all the custard, and throw the husk away? Um, no, but also I don't like... Like, okay, so... Me and Mike B have this... This belief that vanilla cream in donuts is significantly superior to Boston cream. 
I actually think Boston cream is trash. And if I go to get a vanilla cream donut and it ends up having like Boston cream in it, I'm actually ag aggressively upset. Like I just throw it in the trash. I'm like, this is terrible. Um, do you want Saboteur? Yes, because then we can start hitting land drops. And uh, even if we don't hit a land drop, we can still Sphere of the Suns next turn. So. Crystalline. Hmm. Hexproof is the first ability you get, huh? Well, I'm going to start with this Soul Herder. Because next turn we can splicer it up. Not attacking, just going to blink for free. Cool up is greater than... I mean, I like... I love pudding. But, like... I don't... I don't like the pudding. If it was chocolate pudding in a donut, I'd be like, well, that's pretty good. I'm just... I don't think I'm a fan of the pudding that exists in a... In a Boston cream donut. It tastes too... It's almost too sour for me. No, it's not good. You guys are, it's, it's so weird that this is such a controversial take and I knew it was, but it's just so weird to like hear, you know? Um, well, no land here, huh? The way to live is to mix some Cheerios in your cool and just dig in. You know, yeah, that's true. That's true. That sounds like just the, the way to go, you know? Prison Realm. Uh, I can still exile. Sure, that's fine. I am worried about this crystalline giant, just to be clear. I swear, I know things other than Hot Pockets and Cool. Every time you say that, a new topic emerges that you're very well versed in. So I believe it. Pretty soon you're going to be like, let's talk about hot dogs. And I'll be like, you know what? I knew he was I knew he was hiding some hot dog knowledge. I do like that. You know what I like more than that? Fucking lands. That's what. I'm pretty sure I'm just attacking for eight here and then giving this guy the the, the unblockable. Oh, they're just taking eight? What a maniac. Oh, yeah. God, yes. Um, Let's get rid of... Not Cine Sab. Let's get rid of Sphere, because if we can just hit a constant stream of lands here, which obviously is going to happen, then we get to just keep playing lands. So, you know. I think hot dogs get way more than enough play. They're literally like one of America's like favorite foods. I think people shit talk hot dogs a lot, but I also, oh, first strike. Well, that was the exact one I didn't want you to get. But I also know that hot dogs are extremely well represented in American culture and, and cuisine. <laughs> oh man, good times. What is happening right now? Look at you dancing with all your manas here. Oh. The exact turn before I have Sinister Sabotage mana. 
Seems good. I don't know how to deal with this. That's pretty awkward. Now the, the first strike was the nail in the coffin because now they can just jump block, gain three. Soren takes three. Hexproof and first strike is just up, uh, utterly brutal. I mean, death touch is, is good. Or death touch is, is, is rough, but like we can still... No, we can't even trade because first strike. Wow. I don't know how to deal with this. Like, I'm literally just going to lose to Crystalline Giant with Death Death Touch, First Strike, and, and Hexproof. Like, I don't even know how to be... How to, I have no idea how to interact with this. Which is a funny statement, because obviously we can't interact with it. That is the point. Oh, you're actually getting in there with this guy. Vigilance, I see, I see. So death touch means you can shoot three things. You know what? No blocks, I'll take three. Oh dear, one, two, three, one, two, three. They can put this up to 10. Our uh, turner goes to 11 on their t on our turn they draw seven cards. They block here, they take Soren almost almost lethal Soren. Oh boy. I mean hexproof was like the nail in the coffin. Like we've had reflector mage to bounce it. First strike was also nail in the coffin because with, without without first strike like we can kill it at least. With literally anything on the board. <laughs> Five, six, seven, nine, 10, Block a Geist Honored Monk, take seven, go to one. Oh, what up, Ilya Skinny? Always a good always a good time seeing you, MG. Okay. You got it. I mean the problem with this game is that we're not dead yet. Is that a problem? I don't know. We just got a Torchy's tacos. Can I, uh, Torchy's is good. I mean, I like keeping Sabotage up, but also next turn we can do both of these. And, like, I just don't like not committing to the board when they already have Soren and this fucking monster. Wait, am I thinking of Torchies or Fuzzies? I think I'm thinking of Fuzzies tacos. Shit. I always get these confused. J Josh, I have not gone yet. I'm so sorry. Oh, dear. Um... I kind of just want tidings because next turn it gives us a lot more options. I'm going to tidings here. Maybe it's wrong. Who knows? They're going to draw 7,000 cards. Did we play a land this turn? Yes, we did. <laughs> uh, yes, and fuzzy just made of a real fuzz. So it's it works out very well. Yep. Torchies originated as a food truck in Austin, Texas. That's interesting. Torchies fun facts.
Don't waste another minute on your crying. Oh, they didn't just... Interesting. Oh, they're going to draw on our turn, I guess? Huh. I see. Well, now we still get Sinister Sabotage, and that feels okay. You got it. One, two. <sighs> do, 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 do. One, two. Bogok. I mean, this doesn't do anything against them. It just gets rid of their stupid golem, but... Hmm. Could I actually bounce the prison? No, we can't. That's not how Mystery Raven works. This guy got flying yet? No. Okay, you got reach? Can you even get reach? I mean, I feel like once it gets flying, we're just kind of... We're just kind of done, though. I also have no idea how to beat a Soren. Watch, they're going to get flying on their turn so that we can't attack with Mr. Raven and Spirit. I guess they're just going to attack. Grids are going to come Mr. Raven anyway. I got nothing to do here. All right, let's see. I'm just going to look at the chat because it's going to be easier than trying to figure out which new counter it received. Yeah, we knew that was coming. God, Soren Markov seems like a banger. Is this the second time we played against this Soren, or am I just getting my matches confused? Uh, it doesn't actually tell. It doesn't tell you here what it got. That's hilarious. I have to look. Menace. Got it. Matches. That's good. That's good. That's a good message. Matches. <laughs> I feel you, buddy. What is this? They're just playing this guy as a dude? Play him as a man? Okay. This fucking card, dude. I'm so... I'm so... New messages aren't showing up in the stream chat ticker thingy. Well, that's weird. Let me refresh it. Refresh. Try it now. Maybe it just got stuck. Remember the time our opponent had Soren and we were just like, well, I'll attack it for one every turn. And then we never got anywhere. I literally don't think I have a card in my deck that deals with this, but I don't I feel weird about conceding. At worst, we get to see more things. Yeah, the chat's not working over there. That's weird, man. I don't know how to feel about it. Oh, oh, things happened. Oh, it's back. Oh, dear. Yep. Flying? Oh, they did it. All right, I'm going to concede. Flying is like the, the last bastion of... I literally don't think I have an answer for that once it hits hex proof. I guess I'll just bring in false summoning. It does feel like it needs to be countered. Also, I kind of like Angel here just to kill something like a, a Soren immediately, right? Okay, so we can bring in this is blue. 
take out an island. This is white, take out a plains. This is blue, take out an island. Take out one island, one plains. Add two swamp arenas. And now we have like six black plus sphere. Sphere, sphere, sphere. Also, we could bring Breath of Life and try to discard this. Like we have Surveil, Waker, and um, Daring Saboteur to discard. That seems too cute, right? Oh god, I didn't take cards out. Oh no! Oh dear. Oh god. I have to take something out, right? Like, tidings maybe? Yeah, let's take out tidings for now. 41 I can do. 42. Let's slow down. Oh yeah, keep this. We have double black. Nailed it. And they're going to be like, black mana? And I'm going to be like, yes, black mana. Oh, that's actually great. Thank you. Turn three Master Splicer into turn four Soul Herder. Or Cloud Blazer, I guess. Jana, what up, man? Welcome back. We meet again for the first subscription. I still don't know how this works or if it works at all. I have you in mute because my wife is watching a movie. If you read this, please wobble your head in a nonviolent way. That's amazing. Oh, good times. Oh. Wow. Okay, so I'm just going to attack with this because, again, we know they have Sigrid, so they're just going to get rid of it with Sigrid, of course. Of course they are. Sigrid. Smoking my cigarettes. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter which one goes first. So rude. Yeah, you got it. That guy just seems seems out of place in your deck. I actually don't want to play Waker here. Uh, there's no real reason to draw like one card and waste a, a counter here. I think I'd rather just play Cloud Blazer and try to hit a land. And I'm pretty sure we can. So, so good at this. Well, they're at five mana. They're one away from the dreaded Soren. <laughs> like you do. Oh, that guy's good. Oh, boy. Eh, it's a 4-3, I guess. It does have lifelink. Hmm. Well, I guess we're attacking with 4-4. Four, four. And that's it. Okay. Okay. Um, we're going to go 1-2, play Watcher. Um, kind of like sabotage here. Huh. Yeah, I'll take sabotage. Any order's fine. 
foretell that, and next turn we can either false summoning a creature. Again, would have liked to do this. Yeah, at least it doesn't have Vigilance, I guess. I began to see the light. So long, Sphere of the Suns, you did us well. Uh, yes, let's do this to hit a land. And we did. Get him. Get him. I saw a trailer for a Seinfeld horror game. Have you heard of this? The article, they informed me of it. Isn't sure if it's an April. It's got to be an April Fool's prank. Can you link to that that trailer? There's no way that's real. I can never. I can never believe Larry David would sign off on that. Okay. I mean, they killed the flyer, but they still didn't block, so. Yep, take it. Five nights at Newman's. <laughs> Jesus, you're fucking, you should be writing for television. Interesting. How does MTGO decide on Golem Tokens? I think they take it from the original cards uh, printing. Like, these are both printed in New Phyrexia. So they're, this is the New Phyrexia Golem. Oh, but that's weird. But then this one is not. Uh, yeah. I have no idea. What are you doing, you little biscuit? I'm just going to play... I'm just going to play Waker here. I never cared much for moonlit skies. I never winked back at Michael B's. I'm attacking with this guy because I'd rather have the counterspell in the hand than the guy on the board, so... I mean, this guy, they're going to take two from. They're only gaming, gaining three. <laughs> Tempted you, quality programming, a quality game. The game is good, right? Right, guys? Sure. Oh, they just took this. Interesting. Are they going to wipe the board? Probably. They have two cards in hand. That guy's good. That guy real good. Hmm. He personally does not have lifelink, though. I 
I mean, this guy's going to keep getting in there. If you want to give me the card underneath, but fantastic, do that. But they did not want to give me the card underneath. One, two, three. Bishy. This guy. Juposhi, have a good night, buddy. Always good seeing you, my dude. See, this is just, at this point, this guy's just too free damage because they clearly don't want to give me the card underneath. I never cared much for biscuits in the sea. I never cared much for what they do. I don't know what I'm singing right here, guys, just so you know. All right. I will not block. It doesn't have Death Touch. I always thought this had Death Touch. It's a good card, but it feels like it is lacking something. Oh, my Waker. Let's crack this guy. Not what we're looking for. Any creature. Oh! Will that do it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Unfortunately, no. What a waste. I see what you did there. Three, four, five. Oh, we can actually blink Watcher. That actually seems better than any other option we have. Because we get the counterspell in our hand, and that's pretty good. Let's attack with these guys. I have to assume this should be lethal. Like putting the counterspell in our hand is pretty huge. Um, I think we want a clever impersonator under there. I think we're gonna win this match. Cause next time we just make our guys unblockable. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. No, 10. They go to 11, though. Dang it. <sighs> Dang it. Interesting. And we're definitely blocking this with the 3, 2, and the 1, 1. Now that the stones are in... Oh, they're holding back. They're not holding back. Don't hold back. Those are O1s. Seems good. <laughs> they're going at... They're going at Vency. Vency is now at dose. There's a land. Not a Soren. Scourglass? They have no cards in hand? This has to be correct to counter, right? Um, no, we can put that on top and kill this guy. That seems great. <laughs> um so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's not enough. 
We're definitely going to blink Cloud Blazer, play Executioner, kill their fat thing. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this seems fine. I mean, because they can't even draw Soren right now because then they actually... They don't have a second. They have a third black, so... Um, one, two, three... Hangy boy, and we get a clue. Oh man, our deck is great. Oh, that was that was unfortunate. What? Oh, okay. Well, that's that, I guess. Man, I think they're just saying yes to move it. I don't know what's going on. Yep, they moved it on that guy. Oh, dang it. Dang it. But we got that trophy. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Also, if you're watching on YouTube, Adrian, it was good playing against you too, buddy. Uh, I didn't I didn't get to say it, but thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash frankmanitraders.com. Cool stuff, Inc. Every Wednesday through April. And I'll see you next time.